Hey guys, this is uh, Al Hana from the Chuck You Out website, or as some of you may know me as C Gamer. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install um, following add ons in World of Warcraft. And uh, well, let's get started. Anyway, make sure you've got your Chuck You Out client open, and you're going to need Shadow and Light, LVI, Al Hana UI, the LVI edit, and add on skin. All right, once you've got these downloaded and installed, switch over to your World of Warcraft game loaded up. And you're going to check your add-on list. If you notice in my add-on list, I have three extra add-ons. Shared Media, Shared Media, My Media, and SCADA. Um, I'll include a link below to the Shared Media folder. Um, that way uh, I have it installed, that way I can use my custom fonts with SCADA so my entire UI looks and uh, feels the same because it has the same fonts. But uh, this uh, tutorial is just going to show you how to um, embed SCADA and set up uh, our HANA UI and uh, LVI correctly. But let's go ahead and get started. Make sure all of my check, click OK and click Enter World. Once you get inside, you're going to be greeted with a pop-up window uh, for the LVI installation. You're going to click continue. You're going to set up CVARs, which is your uh, variables for um, LVI. You're going to click set up chat and continue. Um, I always choose dark simply because I like the way the dark uh, thing looks better, but you can choose whichever one you want. You're going to click continue again. Uh, make sure you use high resolution because this uh, user interface is designed for 1920 by 1080 or higher. And then either any of these will be fine right now. Um, my Ahana UI edit doesn't have a different profile setting, so whichever you choose right now really doesn't make a difference later on. Anyway, I play caster DPS, so I always am in the habit of clicking caster DPS and click continue. And then right here is just a personal preference, but um, normally I choose icons only. Click continue and click finish and the UI will reload. And then you'll be greeted with my personal uh, Alhana UI installation. Go ahead and click continue. Um, any, like I said, any of these three will work. It doesn't matter because there's not a separate profile for any of them. But uh, since I play DPS primarily, I normally just click DPS. You'll notice on the bottom right hand side here, the installation doesn't quite do it correctly. But you can go ahead and click uh, DPS again, and it'll put it in there correctly. And you click continue and click finished. And voila, you are greeted by my custom installed uh, UI. Now you've got a skater block up there. And this is just personal preference here, but um, I use two windows. So I set one of my windows to DPS, and I go into the config settings for it. configure click window and click create new window and I type in heal because I like to see the heal stats and also the DPS stats because I do play uh, a healer class uh, depending on what I'm doing you know press ok and click now you have two custom windows and you can go about setting up you know how you want these to look you know what fonts and everything like that I won't go into detail with those right now but uh, just know that you can change them as you see. All right, once you've got those two windows created, click close. And you'll see you have two custom uh, skater windows, one for damage current fight, and the other one says DPS current fight, but you can change it to whatever information you want. 
All right, once you got those two windows created, you can just click LUI, and it'll bring you up to the LUI box. Click on Add on Skins. Go to Embed Settings. And since I have two windows, I'm going to be using the two window embed. If you notice, it already has SCADA uh, in here right there. But if you're using a different um, damage meter like a recount or something like that, you can change it to whichever you type in whichever uh, damage meter that you have. But my personal preference of damage meters is SCADA. All right, and if you scroll down to the bottom here, you have several options. You can embed transparency, embed below top tab, which is what I always do because I just don't, I like the, being able to look at the tab on the window for some reason. But uh, once you do that, you'll notice both boxes are directly installed in your um, right chat window. And all you have to do is click OK. And now you have a fully functioning Alhana UI, the UI edit. And that basically does it. If you enjoyed the video, if you have any questions, um, I'll leave a link in the description to uh, my shared media and uh, folder to if you want to use my fonts um, for SCADA or any other add-on you may have for that fact. But uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me on the Tuck UI website. Or just leave a comment below uh, on the video. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.